Head down to the Stony Creek Marina and you'll find several boat tours offering stories of the Thimble Islands. But one of those boats is developing a powerful story of its own. News 8's Scott McDonald has a closer look tonight. At 25 years old. Well, good afternoon, folks. With a degree in American history and political science. Welcome aboard the Volsunga. The last thing Anna Milne thought she would be is a sea captain. I know the waters because I grew up here and, you know, I used to drive around with my dad all day, every day. Her dad, Captain Bob, operated the Volsunga for decades, giving thousands of tours around the Thimble Islands. He was this boat. He and this boat were just very calm, you know, very cool, collected. And everyone in Stony Creek figured he'd always be there. But just like conditions on the water, Things can quickly change. It was a bad motorcycle accident. He, um, I don't, uh, we don't really know what happened. He fell, hit his head, traumatic brain injury. So he, uh, he doesn't walk, he doesn't talk, he can't eat. And after it, Anna faced a decision. Dock the Volsunga for good or carry on the family business and Captain Bob's legacy. So I made the decision. I went to um, sea school in Freeport, Long Island. So now, at the helm, Captain Anna. Navigating through the thimbles is not always an easy task. I did it for myself, I did it for my dad, and I, and I did it for the community. And last Father's Day, Captain Bob was able to come back for an emotional visit. In a way, the boat is still connecting us. Now, a precious passenger, one of many, as the busy summer season ramps up. The Valsanga and the Milnes, the whole family, we're, and the Thimble Islands, I feel like we're all intertwined. We're all one and the same, really. So if you want to ride on the Valsanga around the Thimble Islands, tickets are still available. In Stony Creek, Scott McDonald, News 8.